It's Malaka time, motherfuckers, and today, I'm bringing you guys another Company of Heroes 1 replay, and I love Company of Heroes 1 because it doesn't lag, as I keep saying over and over and over again. It doesn't lag worth this shit. Just because you're level 12 doesn't mean you're fucking good. Anyways, we have two Brits against two PE here. We have 1791, and then we have Mr. Lister. Thank you for having a simple name. Of course, we have two PE here, but I am playing casual. Yeah, Kazam over here, and we have Incrint the Rock. Okay. So we do have Brits here. Um, I haven't seen Brits on this side yet. I mean, it could be a really good potential here to place your truck here and then build an MG watching this way and then kind of push in like that. This dude's with his mines. What mines? Did he ready to go Luftwaffe? Cause no, Luftwaffe is the camo. There's no mines that they think could be placed. But anyways, he goes to infantry section again. They just go. Oh, this thing. Oh, oh, he's planting mines. Did I? Didn't I rape you in a one v one? Top kick. So of course he's gonna get in the house here. Um, pretty bad idea. Just because he's gonna take unnecessary damage. And he has no reinforcements except another Panzer Grenadier, and that isn't going to be able to do much for him. And of course, now he's going to be double teamed, and he's going to, again, take damage that he doesn't need to. His butt buddy, on the other hand, is camping up here, got some G43 singing, and he went and built the Kampfgruppe Lier company. Even though it's Kampfgruppe, it's Kampfgruppe Lier. Shows its superiority once again. Man, I miss that voice actor. Where is that voice actor? Why didn't they hire him again to do the German people in Company of Heroes? Yeah, the German people. <laughs> That's just a bad mistake on their part. Completely bad. So we do see the lieutenant out. He is going to move his truck. I'm probably thinking... Uh, you can't move it onto the fuel. I think it's too close. I think he should move it here. But then again, I'm not sure. But he should sometime. Uh, this guy with PE is pretty bad at the moment. I mean, level 12... And you're now getting out your logistics company, and again, you're just really not doing much with your Panzer Grenadiers. You're kind of sending them in one by one against infantry section. They're kind of not going to work. Good need some G43s and heavy cover, and you know what I mean? So right now, PE is doing exactly what he needs to do with this Captain Crad camp up everything and all that gate crap. We do see the lieutenant now finally coming out in another infantry section. Is he going to move his HQ too? No, he's going to leave his HQ there. So his HQ was placed here, as I... Said before, gonna lock down and get that extra munition. It's gonna get another infantry section. Um, if I was him, I would still probably build a vicar. I would, I would, I would heavily. I don't want to say emplacement spam because you know I'm a gay fagmo. I'd probably put barbed wire here. I'd put an MG right here and then a mortar or something, and then just kind of push it to here while my ally would do this, so we could like be together, kind of thing. But you know, that's just me. But he has his infantry section 5 here for... He's going to use his lieutenant to cap up the VP finally. Uh, surprised that no one kept up this VP over here. Panzer Grenadier suffering some damage. He should retreat. And again, you know, this guy was just kind of wandering about. Wasn't even really doing anything. I don't know. But infantry section able to push them away just fine. We do have finally the glorious half track. I don't know why they don't have this half track in Company of Heroes 1 with a fucking MG on it. But you know, that's that, that's them alright. So we do have the impervious trench of God. Which is the British trench. The British trench in Company of Heroes 1 is the best fucking trench in the world. Just because if you could chuck a grenade in and it won't kill you guys. Oh, the incendiary grenade is the only thing that could actually really fuck your day up. Which it make, it's painfully obvious here. So he does have a half track here with a squad in here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all he can do. This is a bad idea. Because you're going to be focused fired here. Because you do have these guys in the house. Which is uh, not a good idea. Could lose the half track a little bit. Uh, he does have the Panzer Grenadier. Ooh, two Panzer Grenadiers coming up. So actually, this is fine for him. He can actually still stay in that fight and bring these guys up here. And it should be fine. So it's in a grenade did happen, I think. And infantry section took some damage, but it is okay. Trench died or got deleted. And total troll cat and crad. Fucking uh Shrimpwagen, but still cat and crad. Uh decapping that fuel like fuck you. So we do have the support truck coming out. I love how no one capped this munitions here. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but this fuel is more important, I assume. 
And this guy's going to be following the retreat. Nice chase. Could hopefully get a couple kills. All that good stuff. So what is this guy up to? Mr. Lister. Mr. Lister, what are you at, brah? <laughs> Man, that much manpower. Come on, dude. Come on. You see, you, all that manpower and all you produced was two infantry section, and then you finally, you're building a second lieutenant. Why didn't you buy another infantry section while these guys were out there? What the fuck? Ugh, I guess played casually, yeah, but, but still. I mean, you're sitting on so much manpower, you think you would do something with it. The, the enemy already has, a, I think, three Panzer Grenadiers, because one's in here. Just really stupid. So both HQs in the same area is very dumb. Very, very, very dumb. Uh, why? Because you could be utilizing this support truck to hold up into this fuel here. Uh, fuel, whoa, munitions, and get double munitions out of it. So, I well, almost double. So I, I really don't know why he would do that. This is quite dumb. Very, very dumb. And he was, should fucking cap. Well, that scout car. So he did go... Which is this company, which I think is rather stupid, but uh, he is going to go for the Penza Jäger Command. And this scout car pretty much has no chance in hell. PE repaired its vehicle and is capping up this left point. Of course, only two infantry section, and now he's... Dude, you picked the worst time to maneuver your HQ. You picked the worst fucking time. Just fucking wow. He will have to be careful here with that half-track. Because the Bren will button his vehicle and fuck up his day. So he just needs to be a little bit careful. He should retreat this. And shouldn't risk death. Oh yeah, here's some more. From 1791. I think Scout Car was a dumb idea. To be honest. I mean, he's not going to utilize it. It was just took too long to get it out to begin with. And yeah. Improves Schumwagen being really gay. Gonna try and probably cap up the fuel again. Um, all that stuff. But yeah, this other guy is pretty bad. That HQ placement is not that great. And he did lock down. He didn't lock down anything. How do you? How do you not lock down anything? Wait, where? where oh, he locked down this munitions. Oh, okay. I was like, he's all the way up here, shouldn't? He? Yeah, that made no sense. So this guy did get some royal engineers. See, right now with all of this manpower. He should be getting another infantry section, a sapper. He should be... What else should he be getting? I guess he could get another lieutenant. He should be building a triage center. Should be building that triage center. And should be pushing in mid or left or something, which he is doing. So he needs control of that uh, fuel. They need that fuel. They only have one fuel point. Germans have three fuel points. It's not that great. Also, some top keck here. <laughs> Uber top keck that this guy just gave the fucking random strategic point. Uh, that's funny as fuck. Uh, infantry section spamming up. We do have some Piats here, which are going to, uh, force that retreat away. Now, the Piats in Company of Furious 2 are better, I think, than the Piats in Company of Furious 1. Only if you actually move, it's pretty bad, but if you stand somewhat still, of course, the Piats are pretty much going to rape you. So, Armored Car is out. So, this guy did get the glorious Panzer Support Command. Maybe if he'll get a, uh... No, he gets an ATF track. I feel so sad. I want someone to buy the Panzer IV short barrel. It, it makes me feel really bad. Lieutenant capping up. Lieutenant capping up. Still cut off. Need to cap at this point. Again, Ketan Krad being super homosexual. Again, this is why... This is why you don't want your HQ that far forward. See, if it was, like, right here, it actually would have been fine. But you pushed too far up, and where's your infantry? Yeah, now you're retreating your infantry. And he's already putting Shreks into your uh, truck there. Now, of course, you can't easily reinforce here. I actually want to see. Um, yes, yeah, this is pretty bad. I would I would keep doing this. I would go ham. Yeah, he is. He's going to kill it. Oh, that missed. That sucks. Feels bad, man. Come on. Yeah, infantry section. Ooh, a Stuart. And there you go, HQ dead. So overall, stupid as fuck, because, yeah, way too far up. I wasn't expecting these guys to get Shreks at all, actually, which is pretty surprising to me. Oh, I got Tank Busters. 
Oh, okay. Well, the one guy got tank busters. Where did the... I think that infantry died. With the Shrek. So that's a little bit unfortunate. That that infantry unit died. But this was pretty dumb. Pretty much saw it. Uh, but he is going to kill the armored car. Because Glorious Brain actually kills shit. Uh, his butt buddy is coming in to help. His butt buddy is probably the only smart one who actually got some blob of infantry. Though, of course, any of you guys... I mean, I really hope that you guys would have bought... Oh, just before it capped. Feels bad, man. Um, oh. Ooh, that sucks. Um, what was I going to say? Got some nice rear armor hits there, but not much damage. Uh, what was I going to say? Fuck. Uh, triage center. Why haven't you any of you dickbags build a triage center? Does have a captain, though, for that extra defense. But, yeah. Armored car over here barely making it out. Uh, this cat and crad being a super homosexual here is just decap that. Uh, so the truck could sit down. <laughs> and we do have the support one over here on their fuel back here, which is fine. Uh, but that cat and crad troll is really fucking good. This is how you do a cat and crad. You fucking just cap shit and be an annoying little cunt. Uh, that That's what you do. Is be a huge cunt. Damn, those guys are running really fast. Uh, it should be fine here. Again, Ket and Crad. Again. Oh, Scout Card. But look. Using it to camp. Right out, right out from under him. Because the other guy pretty much got demolished. With getting his uh, HQ shit on. Stuart repaired. Uh, Stuart gonna kill armor. Damn. Could probably chase here. No, he's not going to. He's fucking retarded. Glorious Stuart. Oh, he's another Scout Card. Lol, fucking miss. Panzer IV short barrel would have been good. Lol, decapping that finally. Probably should delete these MGs. I don't know. Waste a pop cap. Probably could plant your armor truck there. Actually, if I was him, I would plant the armor truck here. Get that munitions. So damage engine. AT. Uh, not sure he's going to really pen anything. He penned a little bit there. What the fuck? That rate of fire is really good, though. The rate of fire is really good. I just want to watch this. Man, all those pen... Not the pen, those ricochets. He's going to kill it. This guy's not paying attention. Come on. <laughs> Fucking made gut destroy. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Did this guy forget that he had a fucking tank? Or or is it just a damaged engine so they could just sit there? Dude. Dude, just fucking walk up there. Holy shit. Wow. I don't know if this guy, like, forgot or the fact that it was actually an immobile engine because it was red. But I don't know. It was really retarded. So 1971, again, he doesn't have much manpower. He hasn't chosen a doctrine yet, which could be a problem. If I was him, um, Churchill would be pretty good, I think. Against double PE and a lot of that infantry, force them to get a martyr. And even then, if you get one more sapper with some piaccia, you could literally walk up there and fuck him in the ass. See, I think a Churchill wouldn't be all that bad. And right now, he's pretty much raping because you know why? He has three infantry section, a Royal Engineer, a Lieutenant, and yeah, and he has brands and stuff. He has more infantry. Now, over here, trying to build a Vickers in the back. Again, a lot of manpower. He only has two infantry section, two Royal Engineers. He got two Lieutenants. I mean, he lost that, and he's finally getting his armor truck out. He has just so much of everything. And he is just completely failing at the moment. Of everything known to man. Even though that MG wouldn't have saved him because this half track would have walked right by him. I mean, right... Yeah, finally building a triage center. Right now he needs another infantry section. He needs another... He needs to equip two Piats to... Yeah, he does. He needs another infantry section with a Bren. Heal everyone up. And then he'll be able to tackle this. Now, he doesn't need an AT. He was the one that goes Churchill. I was going to say he really needed a fucking... What? LOL, okay, ah. What? Oh, it's for team. 
I was going to say, he really needs a tank, so I guess the Churchill is the one to do it. Now, I actually kind of like this Churchill. Like, I like it looks more bulkier than the Company Furious 2 version. But he definitely needs this Churchill really bad. And actually, now that I think about it, probably could have used it way earlier. Probably should have gone it way early. Would have helped him out so much. So that was kind of my bad. Didn't think of that. I forgot the Churchills could be called off. Kind of. Yeah. So Captain Ready at Vet 3? Is it Vet 3? Right? Am I seeing that right? Or, is, or am I... I'm kind of lost, but... Yeah, his infantry, this infantry is going to completely rape this guy. I mean, these guys are level 12 and they're completely failing. I mean, so he does have a forward, there is a forward HQ here. Um, he does have two, I mean, he, he hasn't gotten anything. I mean, he needs more Panzer Grenadiers. He needs more G43s. He needs more upgrades. That's the only way you're going to deal with anything from Brit. But also, a Panzer IV short barrel actually wouldn't really hurt. Though, of course, it's Piat. Ooh. Ooh, oh my god, that one guy. Holy shit. Yeah, he almost lost that squad. I was going to say was is that I think the Panzer IV short barrel wouldn't be that bad if you had infantry support to really knock out this heavy infantry. I don't think it would be that bad, but it would hurt with those Piats, though. Using cover here for line of sight. Glorious Churchill. I was about to say if that would have hit, what a called bullshit. Panzer and Grenadiers pushing back. The Staghound. And uh, that captain's dead. Not captain, no, lieutenant. Oh, Churchill knocking it out. Yep, Churchill's showing its superiority once again. But of course, we do see STGs on some of these infantry. We do see some assault grenadiers as well. I don't think. Nothing could pretty much take out this Churchill right now. Uh, except the Martyr, of course, but the Martyr's gonna have to be set up. I really enjoy the Martyr, even though it's fucking shit. Churchill Shock. Yeah, it can be handy. Uh, the Churchill will have to be careful of the Martyr, because the Churchill's gonna be quite slow, and the Martyr could easily turn around. Its turret rotation's not that great, but the Churchill isn't some kind of fast tank. So there goes the Staghound. I do believe. Yeah. A whole bunch of infantry here. Gonna get into some nice massacre. I mean, look at that. It's just good. Too good. Too bad it doesn't have any grenades. Sit, though it shouldn't sit in that incendiary. Man, he probably fucking could with that uh, defensive. Oh, okay, now he's taking way too much damage. But he's just basically massacring. Now that this Churchill's a little bit derp, we do see that uh, something. Oh, that half track died here. The Martyr now maneuvering up just a little bit. And the Martyr's pretty much overextended a little. Oh, no, actually, it's fine. Oh, damn. That's actually a good chunk of health. I didn't think it would pen that good. Then the Martyr is an anti-tank. It is a tank hunter. But uh, but the Martyr should be easily raped with these uh, Piats here. Easily fucking raped. But, you know, that's fine. So he should back away as Churchill completely leave some of his infantry behind. And just go like that. We see our first Sherman Firefly out on the field. Uh, should definitely retreat. The Martyr is there, and he's going to snipe the shit out of you, bro. Now, again, a huge amount of infantry again. Should have waited to reinforce. We do see a Bofer here. Um, oh, and an AT, so that's fine. At least he built some kind of defenses here on his left flank. At least something to fall back to, which is good. He, this guy did build his HQ here again. Well, hopefully this time, bro, you can actually keep your HQ. I uh, would retreat your infantry section everything else. Retreat the church, you'll get it repaired and all of that. Yeah, this other guy's pretty much defeated. So we do see a Whirlwind here. Um, could be good. Whirlwind's pretty OP, but it has to uh, be with... You know, it has to be protected. AI's taken over for Kazam. I lulled. He dropped. This guy pretty much got destroyed. Um, yeah, he had, he had three Panzer Grenadiers. I mean, I, st I still believe... I mean, I do love STGs. Oh, these are barbed wire. Um... Playback's over for some reason, but I'm assuming that either everyone dropped or whatever, but I assume the Allies win just by the fact of what they were doing, but I mean, he he didn't choose the Doctrine, really. Um, he didn't, what was I saying now before my phone interrupted me? Um, holy shit. Uh, okay, so he got, he kept putting his infantry out 
singly by themselves. Didn't upgrade to G43s, even though he looks like he wanted to go for STGs, which I think took too long. I think he took too long in getting upgrades. I think he took too long in grouping his infantry. I think that going a Panzer IV Short Bear would have been not bad at all. Um, other than that, I, I think he should have done these things and it would have been pretty good. They were doing good and well in the decamping on them. Did a really nice thing here and killed that, but yeah. But yeah. Uh, this guy, I think the other guy did fairly okay pushing back this noob, but now this guy has all his infantry. I don't this guy. He had the Churchill and he was coming back. I think he was doing fairly well. Or whatever, so yeah. What could have helped them? I know one of them going anti-tank, going a Hetzer actually would have helped. You know, they did get the Martyr. Um, if only the other guy would have stayed in. I think it could have been a long, drawn-out match, but I think it could have been a good match, too. But I think, again, infantry needed to be grouped up, buffed up with the upgrades, G43s or something like that. You know, because STGs aren't going to work at this range. You really need to get in balls deep. I think G43s would have been pretty good. Too bad he doesn't have an MG, because I would have said, you know, an MG would have worked great. But yeah. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.